<laughs> I'm so sorry. What? <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, I'm Jake from Drink the Dirt. Today we're running an experiment to figure out does a better grinder matter more than better beans? Here, I've got three beans at three different price points. The first is a Starbucks Veranda Blend. It's a light roast coffee. It's the lightest they have, I believe, and it is about uh, $10 for 12 ounces. Next, we've got Anchor Head. This is a Ethiopia Hambella. It's also a light roast, and this one is about $20 for 12 ounces. Finally, we've got the Savage Coffee Geisha Afterglow. This is a geisha from Panama, and this is a whopping $100 for 12 ounces. On the grinder side, we've got two grinders. This is the Hario Coffee Mill, Ceramic Coffee Mill Slim. The $40 Hario Coffee Mill, Hario Coffee, Ceramic Coffee Mill Slim Mini Plus. I think that's right. Here we've got the Hario Ceramic Coffee Mill Slim Mini Plus. That took a few tries. Uh, and this is the Fellow Ode Brew Grinder. And we've actually swapped the SSP multi-purpose burrs. This is $40 and this is almost $500. We're gonna be brewing each of these coffees on both of these grinders using an AeroPress. So that's gonna be six cups total. And I'm gonna be inviting my friends Luke and Eric to taste it. We'll get their ranking and then we'll get the conclusions after that. So let's get to brewing. Okay, so I brewed all the coffee. Uh, that was again, three coffees, two grinders, so six coffees. I've jumbled them up, and now I'm gonna ask my friends to come in and taste. So Eric, come on in. This is Eric. Hello, hello. He's a great friend, and he's got the best nose in the biz. This is Luke, great friend of mine again. Uh, uh, he works also at Drink the Dirt, and he brews the best pour over I've ever had in my life. Uh, yeah, I brought my own little spit cup. Um, this is a ton of caffeine and, you know, there's no shame in spitting. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. <laughs> so, uh, just go ahead. I'll just, uh, I'll just be taking notes over here. You just get started at your own pace. All right, so we're gonna try A over here. Oh. This smells, uh, burnt. It smells very sad. I don't want to drink it. But here we go, for science. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and guess. That one is uh, the Starbucks. Yeah. Oh, that is quite bitter. Okay. Okay, here we go. The, I don't know, it's just like, there's like so much flavor going on there, like, Tons of blueberries and all of that stuff. Lots of flavors lingered really nicely. Um, so I would, I would probably vote that one as my favorite. Just based on the color, I feel like I know what this one's gonna be. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think, definitely my favorite cup. It's like the last one but the sort of like plummy peachiness, I think has turned into something a little bit more floral, kind of like what I expect from a geisha. All right, the results are in. And as expected, Starbucks did the absolute worst, regardless of the grinder. Our tasters really didn't like this coffee. From there, the differences aren't as obvious. The Savage with the Fellow Grinder did rank as number one overall, but one of our tasters liked the Savage with the Hario grinder and ranked that as their number one. A few big caveats before we get to conclusions. We only had two tasters, uh, none of the coffees were dialed in, some of the cups were less warm, and I didn't give our tasters a palate cleanser. Sorry guys. That being said, I do have two big takeaways. Takeaway number one, bad coffee is bad. Spend more money on your coffee before you spend it on the grinder. It'll make a bigger difference to the quality of your cup. My point number two, 
a more a better grinder a more expensive grinder can improve your coffee but mostly it improves your workflow things like dialing in are, are going to be better on it uh, and it definitely was a lot easier to grind for a single cup of coffee than the Hario. I took over two minutes on one cup. Well, that's it. If you've gotten this far in the video, give us a like, a comment if you've got any questions, and subscribe if you want to hear us talk about why a bag of coffee can cost $100. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.